Cancer. Welcome to your new moon in Aries reading. Real quick, because I already cleared them, but I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Alright, let me get a card. Nope. Let me get one card. Let me get a card. Let me let me get a card. Let me get a card. Close my eyes. Let me get a card for cancer. Let me get a card. I'm, I'm about to plug. You know we gotta shuffle. Mad sense. Let's oh cancer. Thank you. Thank you. I like that little guy. Girl. Always oh, popping up. Alright. Oh, it's an eight. Oh shit. Did we flip? Did we have a flip? Yes we did. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. Cancer was coming in the morning. No, Cancer, no. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that's good. That's a three. I thought that was an eight. Oh, we like that. All right, one more card. I think we had a flip. Nope. All right. We definitely like that. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right. Come on, you're on. Come on, Cancer. Come on. Come on, baby. No, you're getting one, and you're lucky because both of them shits was in reverse. Is this whole deck in reverse? Uh, no, but damn, that was a lot of cards in reverse. Okay. One more card, one more card, one more card. About the plug. OCD, pardon the fan, pardon the noise, windows is open, cause it's fucking hot, we in New York. So, in the past position you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is way too loud. Alright, in the present position you have three of swords, reverse. So I feel like that shit might have been better upright. <laughs> and in the future position you have the eight of swords. Again, another sign stuck in a head. <sighs> All right. Hold on, cancer. Hold on. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, past position. This was new financial and career opportunities, abundance, unexpected opportunities. So, congratulations. <laughs> you have <laughs> you may have experienced or you had, not may have, you definitely had experience, success, good luck, abundance. Alright? Good shit. Being that this is a pinnacle. It represents money, wealth, prosperity, and career and business, health, and relationships. All that good mundane shit, you know? There was, was, endless <laughs> potential <laughs> to your manifest them. And hopefully you made plans and acted on that. Do your best. And I say do your best because I see what you have on this spread. Do your best to keep your energy focused on what you want to see unfold in your life. Because that door is still open. It always is. It doesn't have to be an ace of pentacle for opportunities to be coming in your life. That's stupid. So presently you have the three of swords in reverse, but we're going to hold it upright. Let me see. Yep. We're going to hold it upright so you can see the fucking card. So, uh, I kind of feel like this is better upright. <laughs> In a reverse position, negative self-talk, releasing pain, optimism, forgiveness, patience, and healing. Ooh, baby. 
you want to keep your awareness on how you're treating yourself your thoughts self-talk the views of the view of yourself is important how you view yourself is important be kind to yourself cancer be kind <laughs> you already take enough shit from people outside work whatever all those outside sources give enough shit stop beating yourself down now's the time you want to build your confidence and allow and don't allow others to um their views their words to affect you okay if you're coming out of a hard time whether it's job your co-workers a personal relationship family relationships committed relationships the worst has probably passed and it's time to begin healing mm -hmm. and if you're finding it hard to heal it's okay just know it will pass you gotta give yourself permission to feel that pain that's life baby that's life life is not fucking easy try to place your focus on how to heal and pace yourself and then act on it you gotta act don't just sit sulking beating yourself up act on it however it helps you try not to indulge in shit that's gonna harm you including that mental beat down that you're giving yourself because you're probably you're probably just beating yourself up right now mentally cancer slow down shift your focus as best as you can Oof. and in the future position we have the eight of swords a lot more negative thoughts cancer what is going on eight of swords negative self-talk negative thoughts imprisonment self-imposed restrictions victim mentality stuck in your head so cancer a mindset is important right so what's going on with you why are you having so many negative thoughts these thoughts these thoughts might have you feeling stuck trapped victimized i don't know and these thoughts could be a reflection of what's actually going on in your life it, it could be it could be again a fucked up relationship a limiting ass job unfulfilling ass job shit in school i don't know you do whatever it is whatever it is that's causing you to have these negative ass thoughts dominate you The outcomes will be negative in other areas in your life. Meaning, if if your relationship got you thinking all this bullshit, then that just might spill over into your work. Your thoughts are important. Thoughts manifest into actual things. <sighs> Hold on, Cancer. If this is an actual relationship, if it is a job that's causing this shit on this shit to weigh on you and you're actually capable of leaving, leave, right? If you have to wait for whatever reason, you can't leave, can't just stop, can't bring this shit to a halt. Focus your actions on a way out. And then try to find ways to begin to shift your perspective on whatever it is that's causing you to feel and think this way mainly think not not feel but your feelings are important too obviously as you do that as you change your thoughts you'll begin seeing things manifesting in life that will ultimately change your thoughts overall God, this sucks. Cancer, this is... This is... Whatever. Let's just pull some more cards. I don't know what else to say. I don't want to keep beating you down. Let's pull some cards from the Wisdom deck. Uh, one card, not some. 
let's get a wisdom card for cancer shall we let's get a, a oh, oh okay differences differences now let's get a card from the dark mirror deck let's get a card for cancer let's get a card for cancer that almost flipped so we're gonna get that Ooh, forgetting oneself interesting that seems fitting real fitting forgot who you are how powerful you are cancer all right we're gonna need the dark mirror first lotus flower numbing our identity to go by the sound of a music that was never ours time as in whoa, what time as an external present not fleeting but locked no progress is no regress either that's true okay Going dark. A modern Adonis, an ancient Hermes, a grown up Cupid, shrined by laurel myth and lotus. He is the welcoming allure of the present moment, the warm embrace which numbs everything else. Which, I don't know, somebody's wet kiss. I don't know how to pronounce that guy, sorry. If you let go of the pressure of the pain, if you let go enough of your identity and connect in the context you live in, then you will just feel better. <laughs> it is what happens when you fall asleep, when you take refuge in the arms of a loved one, or when you watch a movie slump ungraciously on a comfy couch. Sometimes, however, it acts for more. It takes more out of you more of yourself to be forgotten to feel just a little better and maybe the twisted idea that if you forget everything then you will actually really feel better forgetting everything letting everything go not just a moment of rest but a jump into the dark it is like vertigo vertigo <laughs> you stand on the edge of the precipice of a little part of you wants to jump no and a little part of you wants to jump it is just a moment of rest a moment of pause a moment of uncreative selfishness so what let it be and sleep soundly differences Differences. Choosing the symbol for differences asks you to accept that you will not always agree with everyone and they may not always agree with you. As your goddess, I have seen many things since the beginning of time. Know that the intricate differences between all things are sacred and good. You must learn to accept that others are not the same as you. It's important to allow others to express their own opinions. Consider the difference between an orange and an apple. Both are fruit, but they are different kinds. Is one more valuable than the other? I think not. All creatures, all beings, have a right to be their uniqueness. Nope, have a right to their uniqueness. Try to see and hear the other person's side if you can. All right, so what I'm going to do, recap, and then summarize. Ugh. 
<sighs> tie it all together. Oh, cancer, hold please. Ace of Pentacles. So, you're coming out of a place of opportunities galore, right? You may have manifested some wonderful shit, health, business, career, family, all that good shit. For some reason, and it's valid, for some reason, you currently have the three of swords in reverse. And you're beating yourself up mentally. Try forgiving yourself. Try forgiving the circumstances. And then maybe all this negative self-talk will go away and you can begin to heal. However you heal. Just don't, don't, don't begin any negative habits that's going to fuck you over and have you right back where you started. Going forward, you have the eight of swords upright. Again, with the negative thoughts. And a victim mentality that that stands out to me but the thing about this card also is it doesn't show it, it kind of shows here but not really you're trapped but you at any time you can get out of this space so you're gonna have to make a choice and that's why I, I, it's crazy this card embodies what it does you're gonna have to make a choice Right? Give me a second to read this shit again. Will you take a break? Get back into yourself. However, that that whatever you were, however you were, whatever brought you joy before you fell into this this present swords three of swords state. You know what that is. What brings you joy? What brings you peace? What brings you calm? What made you feel courageous? What made you feel happy? You get back into that. At some point, because of circumstances and situations you forgot, and it happens to everyone, again, don't beat yourself up. It's just shift your focus on how you're going to move forward and then begin to act on that. Right? And know that differences. Everybody has a right to their view on life. What they eat don't make you shit. And vice versa. If they can't respect where where you where you want to go, they can't respect what you want to become. If they can't accept their part and and causing you to be in a state, and you have to accept how you ended up in this state. And you can use that finding yourself because you forgot like we all do at times find yourself reconcile with yourself and then you can begin to come out of this state this was deep cancer this was definitely deep i, I wasn't anticipating this to go this route but such is life make the best of it all we can do is learn from our experiences so we don't let it happen again. We see it from a mile away. Cancer, this has been your new moon in Aries reading. Get off my table. Bye for now.